How are you? Kaise hai? Good morning. And in today's session, we are going to talk about the development of mega spore. So, where the mega spore has been developed? Mega spore has been produced by the mega sporangium. And what is the mega sporangium? That is ovule. Very good. You recall that it's called as mega sporangium. Ovule is called as mega sporangium. Now, today's class, we are going to see how the mega spore is developed and what is the further events that is going on from the mega spore. Right. So. We have the so we have this mega sporangium. Okay, mega sporangium, and this is what we are going to talk about the inner innermost cells, right? Innermost that is the the cells which have been enclosed by the integuments. So how many integuments do we have? We have two integuments, isn't it? So we will not draw all those things. So we just draw the structures here. So we have the structure like this, my dear. And surrounding these cells, we have the nutritive cells. Isn't it? We have the nutritive cells. What is the name of the nutritive tissues? Well, it is called as new cells. So we have the nutritive tissues here, which is actually okay, right. Now that is enclosing them. Now inside this nutritive tissue, we have, I said you, we have the sporogenous cells. We have a sporogenous cells. It is also called as archisporian cell. Now what is the priority of this? So we have the sporogenous tissue. Sporogenous cell we have. And what is the priority of this? We have this Is it clear? Now this porogenous tissue, we have to just go on drawing like this. So this from here, let's proceed here. So we have this, cells like this, again. This porogenous tissue will multiply and they form the megaspore mother cell. They multiply and form the megaspore mother cell. Now, this is the sporogenous tissue, they will undergo a lot of divisions and they will form the Megaspore mother cell. So they form the megaspore mother cell. So you have a megaspore mother cell here. And what is this tissue I told you earlier? This is called the new cells. The new cells are there. Cells are surrounding that. Okay. So they form the, here they are developing the mega, they undergo a lot of divisions and they will form the megaspore mother cell. Okay, now what kind of division is that? It is mitosis. So naturally when it is mitosis, the priority will be what? 2M, very good. It will be also 2M, this also will be 2M. So this is also 2M, this also will be 2M. Now this megaspore mother cell, now they will be proceeding for the reduction of cell division, that is meiosis. So meiosis 1 and 2, we are proceeding. At the end of the 2, you can recall from 9th class, even last class in the session, in your last previous 11th standard also, in cell division you would have studied meiosis. How many cells are formed at the end of the meiosis? Four cells are formed. So you will get four cells here. So four cells are developed. Isn't it? Four cells are developed. And this is, you can again, the sporogenous tissue, just you draw one layer, right? That is a mucinous. So they are new cells here, and they are here. Okay. So four cells are formed at the end of the meiosis. At the end of the meiosis, we have one and two, we have four cells. So these four cells, what is very interesting is that unlike that of the microsporogenesis, when PMC, that's pollen mother cell, when they are proceeded 
After the first and second meiosis, how many microspores are developed? Four microspores are developed. But in this case, three of the cells will degenerate. Will degenerate. So how? So what we are getting here? So this is proceeding, and you will only be left with one. All others. Are degenerated like this. So you have to mention like this. they have degenerated. They have degenerated. Okay, so we are left with only one. So that one is what is called as megaspore. No? Megaspore. So this is what the events are going on, and we are looking. So in the megaspore angiom that produces the megaspore out of the four megaspores. Three degenerates, and you are left with one. So from that one megaspore, the further subsequent divisions will undergo. What are the subsequent divisions that will undergo? From this, from this, first mitosis will undergo. First mitosis will undergo. When it undergoes the first mitosis, children. You have the cell like this. Mitosis means how many? Two will be formed. So we can see like this. So we are mentioning here as two nucleate, two nucleate stage it is, a two nucleate stage. And then next, they will go for the second mitosis. Or second mitotic division. When they are going for the second mitosis, how many are formed out of two? Four are formed. Very good. So you will be getting four are formed. So this is called as four nucleate stage. This four nucleate will further proceed for the third mitosis mitotic division. We will go for the third mitotic division. The third mitotic division, my dear, you will be having how many cells? One, two, three, four, ten, five, Six, seven, eight. So, how many are there? Eight nucleate stages. This is called eight nucleate stages form. Okay. Now, they are rearranging. They are rearranging. When they are rearranging here, children, you will be having. Draw like this, very neat, like neatly or present like this, right? Now, as you see here, you can mention that this is the point where you can mention here. Okay, you can draw like this. I said, what is this pore, my dear? Micropile. Is it opposite to that? We have to tell us like now. This thing are very beautifully they are arranged. There is a whole compartment here. Now you have all the new cellulose layers here and inside this, isn't it? You have all the new cellulose layer. So you draw the new cellulose layer here. Right? All the new cellulose tissues are developed here. Okay. They are supporting that. And you will find a very beautiful a structure is developed. A beautiful structure is developed here. Another structure. Now, out of these eight cells, what is very interesting the happening? Opposite to the micropylar end, we have the chalacele. So three cells will be arranged like this. With the children, three cells will be arranged. In the center, the center part, you will find 
two cells are coming. There were two nuclei is coming over here and three nuclei has gone here. So five. And towards the towards the micropylar end, you will find a very bigger cell, and they are supported by another two cells like this. They are what? Supported. They have a central cell here and they are supporting it. So how many they have become? Eight nuclei. So three towards the micropylar end. So we have to remember this is the micropylar end and this is the salasal end. So this towards this end what you will develop? Three cells towards the salasal end they are formed. And what is the name of the three cells? They are called as antipodals. They are called as antipodals. And center cells are there. They are called as polar nuclei. They are called as polar nuclei. And you find this, the whole thing that is called the egg apparatus we can cut. The central one that is called the egg cell. That is what is the female gamete. And these two cells which are actually flanking this is called as synergets. These are called as synergets. And near the synergets, we are here, we will also find some other structures which is actually supporting that. No, there will be like a finger like projections will be there. Like a finger like projections, they will present towards the synergets. Right. This is called as filiform. This is called filiform. Right. Filiform apparatus also we can say. The filiform apparatus. Whole thing is a filiform. You find a finger like projections here, right? They have finger like projections. You find a micropile. Synergids are found on the, both the sides. I can use this color for you so that you can differentiate. And that is a filiform apparatus, finger like projections. In the center, we find the X cell. Right. Now, what is this structure known as? Megaspore, as you know, is what developed in the megasporangium. What is the megasporangium? That is the ovule. So, megasporangium. Is called as the ovum that we discussed in the last class. Now, this megasporium is megaspore is the first cell giving rise to what phase? Gametophyte. What gametophyte? Female gametophyte. So, what structure you are finding here is nothing but a female gametophyte developed from the megaspore. So, let me put it here. This megaspore, what they are doing a lot of events here. And this megaspore is the first cell. It is the first cell giving rise to this structure. What is the structure? That is your embryo sac. This is your embryo sac. This embryo sac is what is known as your mega gametophyte. The children it is called as a mega gametophyte. So this this megaspore it develops the primary sac. Is it clear, children? So we have what is this? Is how many nuclei we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is the eight nuclei. So this embryo sac, if you see, they are eight nuclei. Okay, and this polar nuclei prior to the fertilization. This polar nuclei, what they will do? They will fuse and form one cell. Only two nuclei is there. So that is to be considered here. And they will form one cell having the two nuclei will fuse there. So total number of cells are now seven cells. So it is eight nuclei, seven celled embryo sac. Is it clear, children? Let us again recapitulate what we studied today in this session. So we started with megasporangium. And sporangium is the one which has to develop the megaspore. And megaspore is the first cell for forming the embryo sac. What is the embryo sac? It's otherwise called as mega gametophyte or female gametophyte. What are the events here? The sporogenous tissue is there, cells are there, they undergo mitotic divisions, and then form the megaspore mother cell. And megaspore mother cells at the end of the meiosis, they form four cells. And out of the four cells, three cells will degenerate. Only one is there, one megaspore is there. So, what is the ploidy of the megaspore, my dear? After the end of the meiosis, you know it's where well. it's haploid, isn't it? So it is haploid. Now, all these cells you find here, all the cells are haploid. 
Okay, so they are going for the first mitosis. They have two nucleate stage. Let's go for the second mitosis. We have the four nucleate stage, and they proceed for the third mitosis. We have the eight nucleate stage. This eight nucleate stage is develops arranged inside the sac-like structure. Okay, inside the ovule, it arranges, and it has been supported by the so this whole the processes. Okay, it's supported by what tissue? That is new cells. So just like in anther pollen sacs. Tapetum will support the microsporogenesis. So now these cells are arranged in such a way towards the chalicyl cell. Three cells are there. That's called antipodals. In the central, we have the two cells are polar nuclei, and then they will fuse and then form one structure that is called as actually when the two polar nuclei they fuse and they form a single cell that is called as secondary nucleus. This is called as secondary nucleus. Okay, so they infuse later on and they form a single cell. Then, and towards the micropylar end, we have three cells are there. The central cell is called AX cell. They are flanked by the two cells called synergids. And at the bottom of the synergids, we have what is called a filiform apparatus. The finger like projections you will find here, they are called filiform apparatus. And uh, this whole thing is called as an embryo sac. So, the function of filiform apparatus and synergids is nothing but they facilitate the entry of the pollen tube. Okay, because the pollen tube will be carrying the male gametes and the two male gametes that the pollen tube will be carrying and that pollen tube is being facilitated. They, they direct the pollen tube to enter here and the gametes are facilitated actually. The pollen tube is ruptures here and the male gametes are actually directed by, by synergids as well as filiform operators to have the respective fusions that we will try to see in the next further sessions. Right? Now, let's have some let me let this be test you how far you have understood that. What will be the priority of the secondary nucleus? I said the megaspore it starts here, it's haploid. Then what would be the priority of secondary nucleus? And what is the priority of antipodals and the synergies? Please answer when you're posting your comments. Okay, so bye.